Okay. There you go. There she blows. <laughs> Look at that woman. Yeah. You know, in the old days, I'd say something like, that's my woman. But Would I don't say, say that. that. Anymore? No. no, I wouldn't say that anymore. It probably wouldn't be politically it wouldn't popular. Be, yeah, it wouldn't be cool. Yeah, right. it wouldn't be cool. I like it. Yeah, but I know. Not I like it too. Popular either. Well, uh, I'm your man. You're my man. So I'm I your guess woman. I guess you're my woman. Yeah. Hear there's, me roar. There's probably a song about that. Well, that's right. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. That was Helen Reddy, wasn't it? Helen Reddy in the sixties. Yeah. Seventies. Yeah. Yeah. She had a great voice. Anyway, it's the Suzanne Summer Show. <laughs> I'm Suzanne Summers. In Hi. case you're just joining us. And wow, Mother's Day is coming up and you haven't bought anything yet, have you? No. And also, have I bought anything? Whoops. For me? Well, I just did something terrible here. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you want me to hold something and then you can no. go down and get it? No, I'm going to have to do this myself. Myself? Myself. <laughs> Isn't that your first word you learned? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, not surprising, is it? First word I ever learned. With his mother. Yeah, myself. He wanted to put on his snowsuit and he said, myself. Exactly. You haven't changed. Yeah. Well, that's okay. You know, it's being okay. independent is a good thing. You are wonderful. There are a lot, thank you. There are a lot of kids who are not independent, okay? Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're still living at home. And there are good reasons for doing that, okay? But I'm glad that I didn't live at home. When I How old were you when you left home? I had just turned 18. Oh, oh, that's pretty and I got my first apartment. Yeah. It was a new, a new building, but I was in the basement, and the window to look out was about seven feet tall, seven feet in the air. So I could only see the sky when I looked out the window, which is not bad, okay? <laughs> because if I could look at everything, it would have been the parking lot. But I liked my little studio. They called it a studio apartment yeah. because it had a one of those couches that you pull out at night. Want a taste of lip gloss? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm emptying my heart and you're not paying any attention to what I'm saying, okay? I want you to come here and kiss me. Kiss you? Yeah. Okay, I don't want to. We have this new lip gloss. It's Manuka honey. It's the um, cinnamon, the peppermint, and the. They're all Manuka honey. Okay. okay. If kissing is part of my job, I get it. It okay? is. It is. Okay. Right. On the lips? On the lips. On the lips. Okay. On but it's lips. not going to be one of those. No. You know? No. Major, just like. Just, <laughs> just like. A, Are you afraid of my lips? <laughs> well, but there's a reason for me to be afraid of your No, lips. there isn't. Yeah, there is. No, there isn't. Yeah, I'll share that with you one day. You know, it's awful. You will. Okay. Okay. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> just, okay. just a little kiss. Just to know what is that? That we have lip gloss. Wow, what, what flavor is that? This was um, um, cinnamon honey. Mm. We have three. Isn't it good? Wow, that's good. And it really, really, really softens your lips. It's so dry here. I know. You, I mean, don't you wake up? Don't you have a dry mouth when you? I wake get up? up in the middle of the night to drink a bottle of water. You do, and you, and then what do you do with your head? You put your head in the water. I hear the sink filling up. No, I wash my face. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. I just like to freshen up in the middle of the night. Actually, I'm washing my eyes. I know. Because you know those little mites that crawl around at night, and you get you know sleep things. Okay, I don't like sleep things. So, yeah, you know, we both read a thing where you can't open your eyes in the morning because you've got bugs in your eyes. <laughs> mites. So I wash my eyes in the middle of the night. And I think I'm going to get a, an eye cup. My dad had an oh, eye cup. Welcome back to my channel. Today, the world woke up on the sad news regarding the death of a prominent figure 
Susan Maria Summers Mahoney, who passed away earlier yesterday. She was born October 1946 and she died on 15th October 2023. She was an American actress, author, singer, businesswoman, and health spokesperson who played in television roles where she became prominent, such as Chrissy Snow and this company, which was released in 1977 to 1981 and the colorful star Rambert on Step by Step in 1991. She was a prominent figure, a very wealthy person who managed to collect and gather a lot of money because by the time of her death she was really a wonderful billionaire. Summers wrote a lot of books, including two autobiographies, two dirty books, and a book of poet. Her book, Angelis, The Naked Truth About Bidentity Hormones, which she wrote in 2006, about bidentity hormone replacement therapy and the will protocol. She was a very prominent figure in the US and a mentor, an inspiration, a mother and a person who was loved by many because of her happiness on several talk shows and TV presentations. When she was 17, she started her career when she went as a model on dressing and different beauty parlors where she attended. Summers was an educated person because in 1964 she graduated, she graduated from Cappuccino, Cappuccino High School in San Bruno, California, where she won the best dollar award for her role in senior musical Guys and Dolls and helped organize a classic senior ball where she continued with her career. The news of her death was announced by her family. Her daughters went to social media to inform the public the news regarding her death. And after that, everyone, have fans around the world, have come out to social media sending their best condolence and tribute to the family by posting her photos and videos and also with the caption Rest in Peace, Susan Summers and also they send their condolence and gratitude to the husband and children that she left to behind. Susan passed away peacefully at her home in the early morning hours of October 15th. She survived with her daughters and one son and the husband. We take this opportunity to send our condolences to the family of Susan Summers that she left behind. Rest in peace. May God forgive you your trespasses.